Welcome to Asbury Lanes. This is our little bowling alley. <laughs> this is the entrance. This is our lanes. We have actually one, two, three. Well, as you can see, we have this many um, original functioning lanes. They are all uh, from, I guess, 1961. How we became to be partners with Asbury Lanes is that a friend of ours named Mel started this, he saw this venue that his friends would go bowling every Sunday. And it was only open one day a week, and it was a great interior, and it was this really special place that was really cheap. And so they would all come here on Sundays. So he had this grand scheme like, let's start putting bands in here. Let's make this a magical place for everybody. Well, we wanted to make the bar something very sort of um, cozier than the lanes, because the lanes has a lot of space. Uh -huh. Let's turn some lights on for you. So basically, this was all closed up. Like, uh, if you've ever been in a bowling alley, that's like a separate entrance, usually. And so we ripped off this wall and made this structure. And then Mel decorated it. There you go. So we built all these benches. We built the bar. So this is kind of a, while the bands are playing, this, this creates more of a quiet sort of atmosphere so people can talk and hang out. And it feels like a neighborhood bar inside the bowling alley. Cool. This is our DJ booth. We only spin vinyl, which I'm very proud of. Decided to put the, the stage in the middle of the lanes so that the entertainment will be front and center, and that way this would still give people an opportunity that wanted to bowl, could bowl. I think the show we're probably that's most amazing to me is that uh, Link Ray played his last show here. And, you know, having to get him up on stage and then <laughs> get him back off stage, and then to find out, you know, three months later that he died, that was kind of special that he shared that last thing here with us. Um, we've had Dick Dale, we've had The Ventures, which was kind of amazing to see. Uh, then we've had, you know, Bouncing Souls, which was a big excitement because they're kind of local heroes and amazing, amazing burlesque performers. So we try not to stick with, we started out doing just garage and rockabilly, but I realized that that made it too exclusive. You know, there's a lot more mm -hmm. music going on except for garage and rockabilly. So we try to do all ages shows because there's no places for kids to go. And we try to do as much performance stuff as we can, because that's also, you know, important as far as music goes, is also the performance aspect. So, like I said, we have a once a month burlesque show or a perform performance art show. A month ago, I guess, yeah, about a month ago, we had a marching band. <laughs> uh, we decided... <laughs> How many yeah. piece... 32-piece marching wow. band. Wow. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can really see it, but uh, we have a projector, which is a really nice sort of to make it a multimedia mm. experience. Uh, we also, on Thursday nights, have cult movie night. 